Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Uh, uh, more or less the last question. Citizen Amendment Act, National NRC, and Urban Naxals. Now, why this racist law that segregates Muslims uh, from others or I don't know what? In fact, the big question is, uh, which I found very logical, you're asking people to prove that they're Indian citizens when their parents or their grandparents, you can't even find, I can't find my own documents. I find it very hard to find my own documents in my house. You're asking people to find the parents' documents and the grandparents' documents. That was for people in the village. How can they prove this? And what is the solution to this? Why this law? I want your thoughts. Okay, I, I'm coming back to the Citizen Amendment Act. It was Citizen Amendment Bill, which before it was tabled into the parliament. You have to understand one thing why it has come. From Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, these three countries which have Islam as the state religion has always prosecuted minorities, be Hindus, Christians, Sikhs, Parsis, Parsis if there are any. Mm. And as refugees, they have always come, uh, come into India. Mm. Now what we are saying is, at the particular cut-off date, whosoever has entered mm. will give you the citizenship. Mm. Will give you the citizenship. Because you have been prosecuted in this country. You are seeing day in and day out, Hindu girls have been abducted, abducted in Pakistan, they are forcibly converted into Muslims, and they are married off. Because they have a grudge and prejudice against Hindus. Can which, people find this night, if they Google search? Is it on the news? Yes, yes. You get a lot of news. Okay. Hindu girl abducted in Pakistan. Just Google, you'll get a number of news. Okay. So we are saying we'll give, we'll fast track their citizenship uh, process and give them a citizenship and a passport and a place to live and some employment uh, mm -hmm. if they want to do business. Now, why they are making a hell of it? They say. Boss, why not about Muslims from these countries? I said, are you are you mad or are you gone off? In 1947, you went off from India to have a, your own Muslim state, country called Pakistan. Mm. Then what, what were you doing? Your forefathers were doing. Mm. Why you want to come back to India? You tell me. You okay, are there so, in the so Citizen Amendment Act is you have to prove that your parents and all that were what, what? No, 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 no. It's very simple. We are getting, we are fast tracking the citizenship application of Hindus, Sikhs, then uh, Jains, whosoever the non-Muslims from these three countries who are coming as refugees. We are assimilating them into India. But now you Muslim. understand this. But not Muslims. Not Muslims. Why? Not Muslims. The reason is, 1947, they were given a state. Even if they want to come back, they have to wait. They will not be faster. So what about Why? Indian Muslims? They are not Indian Muslims. Why Pakistan wants to come here? Okay, so what about an Indian Muslim? The easy Indian, Indian Muslim stays here. Why? No. It is it is a canard spread by these urban nexels, Congress, hmm. to create unrest. Okay. You are an Indian citizen. You don't have any issues. Please, so, again, I'm telling. Again, I'm telling through this, through your medium. CAA means non-Muslims in these three countries surrounding India. Mm -hmm. They have been fast-tracked and given application. Now, why they are crying and I will again tell you this. Hindus are coming away from Bangladesh. They are prosecuted there. Pakistan. Then Afghanistan. Afghanistan, you know, because of Taliban. Now they are thinking all these all these amount of work, hard work which we did these years 
of illegal migration into Assam and West Bengal from Bangladesh, mm. and these our government will uh, put uh, Hindus there. Arey boss, demographic situation again changes. Our vote bank goes for a toss. You understand the political situation. Okay, so now the Indian right. Muslims who are in India, will they have any problems? No, 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 no. Then what is yeah, all I this in the news? Right. What is all this in the news? People are saying I'm they are Indian spreading Muslim. wrong things. They are spreading all wrong things. They are spreading all wrong things. Nothing happens to Indian Muslims. Nothing happens. These so, people. Uh, so if in right. case, let's say uh, me, I, I've not been in India for ages now. Would I be affected by the CAA, or would I be? No, no. You're as uh, you're as uh, as good citizen as my me. So, would they ask me to prove my grandfather's document or something? Because no, the, this is all this is all cock and bull story spread by Congress and their jokers. So, if I have an Indian passport, do I have to prove how did I get it and all that? No, no. Who said your your documentation is already there in the files? Okay, I don't know. I just want. To... And what is NRC? National Registration of Citizens. See, for example, for example, mm. Mm. NRC was first uh, when uh, Assam Accord was signed by Mr. Rahul Gandhi's father. He forgets. I am so. I am. I always take sarcastically. Rahul Gandhi's father signed mm. Assam Accord. Mm. So Assam Accord, he promised one thing. Mm. He'll do an NRC and mm. throw the illegal Bangladeshi immigrants mm. back. Mm. 19. Rajiv Gandhi, right? Rajiv Gandhi. Rajiv Gandhi. Ah. Rajiv Gandhi. He signed. Mm. No, 87, 86 or 87. They signed this. Uh, I forgot the year. So almost 30 years. Almost 30 years has lapsed. Mm. Supreme Court in 2014 said this was supposed to be done. What are you doing? Mm. So Supreme Court monitored this particular thing mm. and said you have to do a census. Mm. How many citizens are there? How many actual citizens are there? How many illegal immigrants are there? You mm. have to give a report mm. because this accord was signed and this the accord was a constitutional piece of instrument. Mm. See, you don't sign an accord for the sake of signing; it becomes. Mm. Uh, it becomes a constitutional instrument. You have to abide by that. Mm. So, Supreme Court, under Supreme Court order, everything was done. Everything was done. I'll tell you why. Rohingya problem is uh, happening a lot in um, uh, Myanmar. Mm. They are coming in a lot in boats to uh, even uh, Bangladesh. Mm. They are trying to settle in India. Some Western interests. They are trying to bring them and settle in those. Hindu populated area so that they can change the demography, and in future they can play around with the Lok Sabha seats. Understand the bigger picture here in politics. Mm. Why they are crying? Why this has been implemented? Why is getting implemented? Why they are crying? And why mm. CAA has been enacted? And why they are getting Hindus are coming back to India? Hindu Hindus will have to come back to India. Mm. India is a motherland, the cradle of Hindu civilization. Where will they go? Saudi Arabia. Mm. Okay. And what is finally this? What is this urban Naxal? What is this? Is this a group of who are they? See, Naxal. Naxal is a place called Naxal Bari. It's in the West Bengal. Mm. And uh, from there, the peasant anti uh, the peasant movement started against those uh, landlords who mm. were exploiting them because they were not giving the wages and everything. Mm. With a communist ideology and um, with a ideology that if they pick up a gun, they can only then enforce their uh, rights with the communists, with the Marxist and the Lenin's, Lenin views, views and thoughts. Mm. Now this has developed, developed, refined, developed, refined, and became and became and adopted into the urban areas mm. where the professors and the students who are influenced by Marxist, Marxist uh, ideology. Mm. They started implementing their thought process into the particular narratives which uh, go into the governing of India. Till now, till 2014, all the textbooks were written by those authors who had this left leaning and left ideology. Mm. They were closet people. Those those people 
who did not want indians actual indians to understand and read the actual essence of india means your uh, theory your uh, your history starts from mughals your history starts from when the british left this is what all was taught they did not teach what indian culture is 5000 years back mahabharata vedas purana bhagavad gita these were not taught properly only those those ideologies were taught which the, they could change the mind of the people who are coming into the colleges and they'll go have a leftist leaning they'll not have a rightist leaning and then go into socialist mode mm-hmm. so this is where the class happened so 2014 our government came we are totally right wingers right right thinkers now when we are right thinkers there is there is bound to have a clash here i i'll give you one example a leftist will never allow you to raise the fees of the college fees of the mess fees of the hostel because mm. he'll say this is against socialism mm. you are killing the poor yeah i saw you these also, videos where they were complaining about uh, increasing fees and all that yes see the fees which have been there since 1980s they have been carried on till now it no, nothing is beating the reality mm. the cost of production the cost of teaching the cost of electricity the cost of infrastructure has gone up tremendously still they say so free mein do give us free 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 why this is what this is what the, they are trying to spread the socialism and this is where we are coined the term called urban marxism Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loi Macedo is the best. Mm-hmm. 